I have consumed so much anime and manga in my life that I think I've seen over 150 series. So I'm going to be doing my top 5 favorite anime and manga. And the reason I'm doing top 5 instead of top 10 is because top 10, I don't even personally know the list. However, I have composed a list of my top 5 favorite series. Now, this list is only for currently, right now, 2021. Okay, this list will probably change in the future. We'll see how it goes. Um, another reason I'm making this video is because a lot of people want me to. People have been asking me on TikTok. People have been asking me on YouTube. People have been asking me on Twitter, everywhere. So let's answer this question. First of all, I'm the one straw hat. If you enjoy my content, please leave a like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you're new. If you want to see what's happening in my life behind the scenes, follow me on Twitter. The handle's one straw hat or straw hat one. But yeah, let's get right into this video. All right, before I start this video, I kind of made a mistake. Instead of doing a top five manga, I actually did a top six manga. Um, I don't know why I did that because I didn't have the list up. I was just doing it off the top of my head. So this is instead of my top five, this is my top six favorite manga. So instead of number five being number five, imagine number five as number six and number four as number five. And it's like, it, it's gonna get confusing, but don't worry, just understand it's one back. So the manga I'm about to say, I say it's my top five, but it's actually my top six. So yeah. Coming in at number five for me is Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Now, I've only seen the anime and I thought the anime was so phenomenal. From a storytelling standpoint, I thought it was spectacular, okay? I thought this is one of my favorite series at the time. I loved alchemy, I loved everything from it. I loved Edward and Elric. I loved their interactions. I loved their goal, their journey, the process. Everything about this series was beautiful. Now, the reason it's number five and not higher is because it didn't have me emotionally invested. There were times when I was emotionally invested and I was hyped or sad, but the highs and low, they, it was consistently high. However, there was nothing that broke it through the roof. Like there was nothing, there was no moment in that series where I was like, wow, this series is on another level. It was just consistently good. And that's all I have to say about it. Coming in at number four, we'll go through these fast. Coming in at number four is Vinland Saga. Now Vinland Saga was number five before. And then I switched it with Full Metal Alchemist because I personally felt like while Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood was highly consistent, I feel more consistent than Vinland Saga. I feel like Vinland Saga had more of those high peaks and it was still very consistent. So yeah, I love Vinland Saga. I love how it's like kind of based off real. It's like it's fiction. However, it takes inspiration, inspiration from real life manners. So I think that's pretty cool. I love uh, Thorfinn. Thorkel was cool. Askeladd is one of my favorite antagonists in all of manga. So Vinland Saga is another series that is in my top five personally. Coming in at number three is Hunter x Hunter. Now, I'm, I know people might say, how is Hunter x Hunter above Vinland Saga or Full Metal Alchemist? I love Hunter x Hunter. I love Nen. I love the world. I love the characters. Hisoka, Gon, Killua, Krolo. They, like, it doesn't end. There's so many good characters in this series. So many good characters that have you intrigued. It's a phenomenal read. I feel like I'm more intrigued in Hunter x Hunter than I am with Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Okay, people might say Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood has better, better writing. However, I feel like Hunter Hunter has better characters, Hunter Hunter has better villains, Hunter Hunter, just so much, okay? Yes, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood did have a good villain. However, there is just more quality villains in Hunter Hunter. So that's why it's at number three. Actually, Hunter Hunter used to be my number two. And then uh, until JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Now, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure is my number two manga. I love JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Part one to three was all right. It was nothing special. Um, I think the thing that put Jojo on the map for me was part seven and part eight is doing just as good as part seven Maybe a little bit worse, but part seven and part eight are my favorite parts Um, I also love part six. I know people I know people hate on part six I think the only thing about Jojo's Bizarre Adventure is Part one to three. That's the only weak points of it part one to three. It's whatever. It's all it's all right It's not bad, but once you get to part four with Yoshikage Kira part five with Diavolo and Giorno part six Jolene part seven it just gets phenomenal and phenomenal. Part seven is one of the best written. Like if we're gonna if we're gonna add part seven just as its own thing, part seven is one of the greatest series I've ever read. Now coming in at number two is insane to me. Okay, number two is a series I'm currently reading. I am not done this series. However, there is one arc in this series that it, it, it just stuck out so much to me that I had to put it into my top five list. Okay, and the series is Berserk. I love Berserk. Okay. I have been binging Berserk. Like I literally wake up and I read like 40 chapters a day, which is insane to me. I never do that unless I'm really into the series. And Berserk is one of those series. The Golden Age arc, that arc had me shook the whole entire arc. It was 94 chapters of greatness, literally of greatness. And now the arc I'm currently on, which is the Conviction arc, I'm actually like midway through that. 
another phenomenal arc. It seems really good. It just seems consistent. And I've heard it doesn't go anywhere. Like, it doesn't drop off. If it stays on this level, I don't even know what to say. And my number one series is One Piece. Now, I don't think Berserk will ever pass One Piece. Um, even if Berserk, people might claim it has better writing, I personally think One Piece is a series for me. Okay, the tone, the adventure aspect to it, it's a series that fits for me. I just personally like One Piece a little bit more. I love Luffy more than Guts. I love Guts. Guts is an amazing character. He's probably one of the best protag best written protagonists of all time. I won't, I won't argue that. However, Luffy is more inspiring to me, okay? I, I inspire more to be like Luffy than Guts. I love Guts, don't get me wrong, uh, the struggler, but Luffy is just something else to me. Obviously, world building, I know everyone claims world building, but the One Piece world building is fantastic. Um, the storytelling is beautiful. Marine, if Golden Age arc is one of my favorite arcs, Marineford is right there with it. It's, it's like neck and neck. They're both amazing arcs, um, and both of these series are beloved by many. Uh, but personally, I feel like One Piece is just above Berserk for me. Um, and yeah, I think it's, I think it'll never change. I don't think so. But for, I, people have said if it would change, it would change after the Golden Age arc. It still hasn't changed. So I think it's going to be One Piece, Berserk. Um, what was, what was the third one I said? Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, Hunter, Hunter. Wait, did I do six series? Well, I gave you guys, I gave you guys six series. So those are my top six. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll title the video top five, but those are my, those are my top six. I could probably make a top 10. I just need four more series that are in my top 10. But if I do do that, it'll be another day down the line. But yeah, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this content. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, hit the bell button. Um, and yeah, follow me on TikTok, follow me on Twitter. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, everyone.